Hey everybody, Tommy Donlin here, Fish Hunt Northwest, uh, bringing you Washington State's fishing report for the week. Um, the first one that I really want to highlight is probably our number one salmon opportunity in the state right now. That's out of Marine Area 5, out of CQ, um, and the blackmouth fishing has been going really, really well. So long as there's not an east wind that kicks up the strait, um, fishermen have been able to get out uh, and get on those fish. You know, we kind of see kind of a flux of bait, right? We'll, we'll find bait. Um, sometimes it's in shallow water, sometimes it's moved out in 250, 300 feet of water. But if you can find those bait balls, you're going to find those actively feeding Chinook. Um, and when in doubt, always keep your gear on the bottom. Um, and that, that goes for if you're fishing 150 feet all the way out to 300 feet. Um, cause those black mouth, those juvenile Chinook, they're hugging the bottom, um, pretty much at all times. So, but if you can find the bait, it's going to be a melee. Most of the people that have been going out um, have been coming close to limits. There's a couple off days where, you know, you have trouble locating the bait. Um, another thing to keep in mind is this is a place that's highly affected by current. Um, you always want to troll with the current um, so that the fish can easily see and acquire your bait as a target. Um, something else to keep in mind is that you, you're not going to, in a lot of cases, you're not going to be able to troll um, against that current in that area if you do have a strong current. So you're going to be making a pass, picking up, and running back up to the top of that troll and coming back down. But that's a, that's a find the bait, find the fish game. Um, there were some nicer fish coming in. Looks like that's petered off a little bit, but there's still plenty of opportunity out there. Um, you know, another beautiful thing about CQ is Area 4 um, off of Nia Bay is also open. Um, and Nia Bay did just reopen their reservation. They've got some restrictions um, to be able to launch there and stay there. Um, that's open as well. And, you know, this time of the year, uh, March, April, even into May, we have some of the, the worst weather conditions that you can imagine here in Washington State and off of the coast of Oregon as well. And so you're always watching the weather. You're always watching the NOAA weather. The nice thing about CQ and Nia Bay is that you can fish that piece of strait that is, you know, in Area 4 between Seal and Sail Rock and Cape Flattery and stay relatively protected, right, and get all of your rock fish and your link cod. So... There's a lot of gut opportunity in that stretch. You've got to have your sonar dialed in to find those black rockfish. As soon as you find them, it's usually on um, shrimp flies, small swim baits, things like that. Um, for the link cod up in that area, you know, when you talk that upper north, north coast, um, I'm a huge fan of live green links. So anytime you can get live bait, fish it. Um, and that's been fishing really well. Guys have been getting their limits up there too. Um, you know, going down the coast, when we talk area two, Westport, they just got a really nice stretch of weather and they've been getting out and hammering the, the link cod and the black rockfish as well. Um, that's a live flounder fishery if you can get them. Um, but if you can get out and the weather's conducive to fishing, um, it, that's been fishing really well also. Um, another beautiful thing that we have coming up this spring, we've got a series of clam digs, razor clam digs, April 1st through the 6th every day. Um, they're all morning digs, so it's a great time to get out, especially if you've got um, some young kids that want to get in on the action. Um, get out there and get your razor clams. In addition to that, we've also got a slew of other opportunities um, across Washington, you know, for clam digs, oysters, um, and things like that. So, you know, check the regulations, get out there. Also, don't forget to check your demoic acid levels. Um, you know, check the Department of Health website and make sure that it is safe to dig. All right, that's the report for the week. I'm Tommy Donlin. Have a good one.